In this video, we'll go through how to create an event through your Now Look at Diary. Events can be used in many ways. Think Valentine's Day, wine tastings, or exclusive dining experiences and special menu offerings. To create an event, navigate to the settings area in your diary. Select the events tab on the left. Click the plus button in the pink circle to create a new event and set the type to event. The first thing we're going to do is enter the name of your event in this section. Let's call this a Valentine's Day dinner. Under the widget description, enter the details of the event that you want customers to see. This could be romantic three course dinner for two to celebrate Valentine's Day. You can use run sheet notes to enter details intended for venue staff. These notes will appear in the daily notes section on your diary, as well as on your run sheet view. Under email description, add any information that you'd like to include within your event booking confirmation email. Once you have completed the events tab, click next on the bottom right hand corner. You can configure the event dates using this calendar. Set the start time for your event. You'll want to make this earlier than the first booking slot to allow time for preparation. The first booking time is the time that your event will start. If there is only one slot for your event, set the last booking time to match this. If you would like your event to override your regular services, ensure your first and last booking times overlap your usual service times in your schedule. Click next to configure the settings for your event. Select the drop down navigation to set your reservation interval times. If you're taking bookings for just one interval during the event, you can set this as the full event duration. For example, here we'll set four hours as the booking interval. You will then need to enter the same booking duration, which is 240 minutes. Set the minimum or maximum packs required for each booking or for the entire event. If you have multiple booking intervals for the event, enable custom packs to configure them. Since we've set only one booking interval, there is no need to do this in this case. But say you set two booking intervals spanning two hours each, this is how you configure custom packs per interval. Turn this toggle on to ensure the event will be visible on the booking widget. Use the policy agreement section for terms and conditions you would like customers to agree to at the time of booking. This could be refund policies or last minute cancellations. Click next and head to sections and layouts to allocate sections for your event. If you're still running daily services in parallel to the event, mark the section as section not used to indicate this. Or you can simply close a section for the event period to restrict bookings being made. Note that this will close any services that are normally used for these sections. Attach a payment type to your event and specify the price per packs or booking. You can also add upsell items here to let customers decide on a pre-order. Hit save to create your event. You can then click back into the event and go straight to the payments and booking options tab to see your unique page URL that has been created. Use this to promote your event and take bookings on social media, emails and your website.